Hello! In this video, you are going to learn how to add interactivity into your Microsoft Stream videos. Microsoft Stream can be found on the web version of Microsoft 365. So if you go to portal.office.com and then click the waffle on the left hand side, you will find the Stream app. If you don't see the Stream app in your list of icons, you can also type for it here in the search bar or in the top search bar as well. So again, I'm going to click my waffle and then click Stream. Once you are here, you have a few different things that you can do. You can upload a video, screen record, camera record, or even create a playlist. But for today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add interactivity into a video that you've already recorded. So for example, if I click this video that I've already recorded here, on the right hand side, they have now added what is called the interactivity button. So here you can boost your viewer engagement with interactive callouts, clickable links, and even a Microsoft form. So if I click interactivity here, I can click add new. Here I can click add form. So for example, if I go to Microsoft forms, if this is the form I want embedded into my video, I would go to collect responses. I would take this share link here. I always like to shorten it first, then click copy link, then come back to my recording and paste. I can tell the link exactly where I want it to show up in my video by just moving the start time. And then when you're done, click the check mark to save. Now that form will pop up on the screen for the viewer to participate in at the time that you selected when you added the link. So have the ability to edit that or delete that out of your video if you need to. And then also you can add a call out into your video, which will put a text box. You can choose the color of the text box and you could just start typing. Click the save button. And now if I play my video, you can see that my call out popped up first and then my survey, which is interactive within the video. So I can have my viewers answer questions as they're watching a video that I may have already recorded. There are some other great features within Microsoft Stream. For example, you can trim your video, you can view and download a transcript of the video. You can also add comments to the video and have a conversation about the video with others that you share your video with. There are different video settings here that you can choose to turn on or off. And then finally, if you share your video out through Stream, you will get the analytics to show you relevant data to help you evaluate how well the video is performing. Now you know how to add interactivity into your Microsoft Stream videos. Stay tuned for next week's What the Tick Tip. See you then.